All right, welcome back to Minish Cap. So, uh, it's been a while since I, uh, since I played, and if you'll give me just a moment, I gotta get the controller fixed again. What does it think I'm using? A classic controller? All right, there we go. All right, so today we're gonna make our way through this fire, uh, fire cave, uh, the mine. I don't remember what it's called. Cave of Flames, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to do it before my camera dies. That was weird. So, uh, Xander has been really into. D and D lately, uh, and and dragons in particular, um, and due to some personal stuff that happened, uh, my current campaign that I had been running uh, is it's on hiatus for now. Um, so he he rolled up a character, or he made he made a character for just a just a brother campaign. And he's really excited about it. He keeps he keeps bugging me about when we'll play. Um, and we were thinking about playing for the channel, actually. Um, you know, I thought that could be fun. It wouldn't be as professional as, say, Critical Role, which is the most common one I can think of right off the top of my head. But. We both love D&D, uh, &D, and I think it'd be I think it'd be fun to try making it for the channel at least. Um, that said, it's it's getting our backlog of things we want to play and make videos for is getting really big because you know we're making a Minecraft survival uh, video every every week. And that's going to go on until we manage to make it to the end. Hey. Oh my god. Will you hush? So, you know, we might do the D&D thing. We might not. Uh... It is what it is. Once I graduate from college, uh, which which will be soon, we'll have I'll have a lot more time to focus on the channel. Because after I graduate, um, I don't plan on getting a new job immediately because my, my current job is, you know, it pays well. The only real downside is um, the location and, uh, you know, no benefits because it's not like a big company. There, there's gonna be little hiccups because I'm using an emulator on the Wii U. Um. But, 
but I figured this was easier than trying to use my computer all the time. Alright, let's, uh, oh, let's get into safety. Alright. Here we go. Excuse me. Ow. Now there is a 100% possibility that my uh, my phone, which I'm using as the camera, is gonna die before we finish this. So Pat. Oh my god, I'm screaming, y'all. Do I need this? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. But no, we've talked about, uh... Playing Kirby with Jordan. And uh, other game ideas that have been floated around include Super Mario 3D World um, with Jordan, Xander, and I. You know, we think that'd be fun. <clears throat> Yeah, I didn't need this. And I, uh, I'd like to apologize for the uh, audio quality always being inconsistent. I cannot for the life of me figure out what the issue is. I have tried and tried and I just can't figure it out. So, for now, I have resorted to using uh, an old camera as a microphone. Heart piece! Whoa, I got a new heart container. That's a pretty nice surprise. I didn't know I was going to get that. Alright, let's see who I'm fighting. Uh... 
Oh, you know what would be fun to play? I should play some Scooby-Doo games with Xander on here. There were quite a few that I enjoyed as a kid. They're not good by any mean, any, any, like, any count of goodness. But, I liked them. Uh, Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights was one of the first games I ever played. There were three games that were my first games. It was Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights, uh, Oracle of Ages, and Link's Awakening. All three of those games hold special places in my heart, even if uh, Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights is not, you know, inherently a good game. <laughs> I also like, uh, another game I played a lot when I was younger was, uh, Scooby-Doo Mystery Creep? It was like some, some creep papers for the Game Boy Color. I, the full name is, I can't think of it, which is unthinkable. But I digress. Mostly because I forget what I say while I'm dressing, so I guess it's time to digress. This is gonna be fun. Oop. Look at this! It's so tiny! Yeah, I'm, I'm real excited to, like, start work on some of our Mini Hero projects. Uh, I think the D&D one can be really, could be really interesting. Um... One of the biggest reasons we haven't done something like that before is because, um, well, Xander hasn't showed a big interest in doing anything like that before, and then our the usual players, they just would be too adult for the channel. Alright, let's get this bread. So I remember a while back, someone was complaining about uh, the phrase, let's get this bread, and they were like, that's so dumb, the young ones come up with the stupidest, stupidest, uh, slang. But then I realized, you know, we, we, we call money dough, we called it that for years, like decades even. The only big difference was that, you know, I don't know, I don't know what the difference is. Jesus, it must be like listening to a Joe Rogan podcast when I'm talking, except less racist. Come on, come on, come on, woo! Okay, well, we, we found the, uh, the boss chamber, so now we just need to... Find the boss key! I and mean, I think that might be it right there. Go, 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 go! We're gonna die! Oh, in my latest D&D &D adventure? Ah, oh, heck me. Uh, I had my players visit the back rooms, which I made in Minecraft, and uh, I had a monster I made. I called it Entity A. Uh, basically, it changes its 
it's a vulnerability every every round. It's a random dice roll. And um And the the reason I made it like that was just because the players were too uh, they they would they beat to things too easy. So there was never any challenge. So this was supposed to be completely random. But it, it didn't end well. So we just had to put a stop to it. But, you know, my backroom's dungeon was well received. Which is good, because I put a lot of work into it. I s swear to God, I hate kinstone pieces when I'm trying to, like, play for the channel. Because it just takes up so much time. I need hearts. Can I get some hearts, please? Can I get an F in the chat, boys? Oh yeah, so, anyway, the character da Zan Dander. The character Xander has made is a dragonborn paladin. A white dragonborn paladin, mind you. So, you know, his nature is inherently evil. He has a cold breath weapon. And... Uh, is he a paladin? No, no, my bad. He wants the multi-class into paladin. But right now, he is but a, uh... But a fighter. He is a dragonborn fighter. Uh... His AC is not pretty bad. Not that bad. Um... And he's, he's bugging me every day. So, did you get an idea yet? Did you get an idea yet? And I'm like, Xander. And he's just so excited. I, uh, we went to Walmart and I found a copy of the, uh, player's handbook. And I got it for Xander. Because, you know, he's on a DD and d kick. He's, he got these d he had a book fair and he bought D&D &D books. Um... And if you know anything about Xander, you know that years ago he w he hated reading. He couldn't even read. Um, playing the Pokemon card game actually helped him because uh, he had to he had to learn to read or he couldn't play it. And he's come so far. And you know, obviously we want to encourage you know the reading. It's a good behavior. I think he stayed up the other night actually. <laughs> Uh, reading, and so, you know, s for school, he was just really out of it the the next day. But yeah, I'm, I'm just so proud of that kid. He's, he's a good, good kid. Alright, time to beat this, th beat this boss. He looks like a Pokemon. That's another thing we were gonna do and I completely forgot about it. I'm supposed to be doing a Pokemon Nuzlocke. There's just so many games and things we wanna do and just not enough time. Cause you know, we release two videos a week. Well, you know, two videos and a Menu Heroes Digest a week. And that's already a lot with school and stuff. Because Xander and I both have school. And right now my Thursdays are booked with, uh, with class. My Fridays are pretty booked too with, uh, oh man, with D&D. &D, family D&D. &D. Link, you dummy. You dumb dumb. And then every other Saturday I'm playing D&D &D with a group. 
that we met in Danville. No, stop! Oh my god, I'm gonna scream. But you know how it is. Oh, he's he not dead yet? What the heck? Currently in a Python class. Uh, Python is a programming language. In case you no know, one of you doesn't know what it is, um, one of you like four viewers. And you know, I've got 119 in the class right now because there's extra credit opportunities. There's you you post your an your response to a discussion early five five extra points. You do extra credit on assignments, usually it's like 50, 20, 25 to 50 extra points, and I've just, you know, stacked them up, now I'm starting to struggle a little bit. My goal is to have a 4.0 GPA when I graduate. Right now, I have a 4.0 GPA. So I just have to get A's in the rest of my classes, and that's, you know, this semester. Um, so I've got four classes this semester, and then two classes next semester, and I will be done. And if I get A's in all of those, I get a, uh, I get a 4.0 GPA. All right. So next time, we will go, and we will talk to Malari, and we will get the Four Sword. But until then, I'm going to save again. Alright, so, uh, if you liked what I- I'm see-through. If you liked what I did, if you liked, you know, the playing, the, uh, you know, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, you can view the- you can view other- Minish Cap videos up there, or there's a recommended video down there. And until next time, stay cool.